Hello everyone and I have our next contestant, Anshul Harnad. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm amazing. That's lovely. So let's get into our interview. Yeah, sure. Alright, so Anshul, why do you think there is such a huge gap between people and medical resources to treat such conditions? Uh, the major difference between people and uh, medical resources is just because of poverty. Not every household and not every person can afford treatment for diseases. Uh, on personal level, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. My mother uh, is a patient of cancer, mm -hmm. right? We belong from a middle class family. Mm -hmm. And being from a middle class family also, it was tough to, you know, get to the hospital, getting with the doctors, getting the treatment done. You know, it drains a person financially. Totally uh, drains a person. And cancer is such disease that uh, it's like, you know, if a poor person gets detected with cancer, it's like death to them. So just because of poverty, not person uh, is not able to uh, go to the hospital and get, you know, treatment for themselves. That is the major difference where there it is so. And not, uh, or not in every place we get to, you know, see hospitals and uh, clinics. Mm -hmm. So that is also one major reason. Usually people in, you know, uh, rural areas have to travel many kilometers to you know go to the hospital so they prefer doing the home therapy mm -hmm. so that is the major reason according to me. I see and that you know with your experience I can already tell that it is a difficult road to deal with it's, all of it's this. It's very difficult. Absolutely. So keeping you know in the conversation of cancer as an illness and the fact that your family is you know you're personally dealing with it. Yeah. How do you help solve or raise awareness regarding cancer? See, I'll tell you, first of all, when it comes to cancer, if a person is detected with cancer, the first thought that comes to their mind is that I won't survive, I won't live. Right. You need to be mentally prepared and mentally so strong to, you know, get out of it mm -hmm. and, you know, keep the positive mindset. Mm -hmm. If you are negative regarding anything in life, mm -hmm. then, you know, things won't be according to you. So you need to be positive in life. So I uh, personally want to be with an organization. I'm planning after going back from the pageant mm -hmm. to join an organization that does not only provide free, you know, treatment or medication to the patients who are suffering or dealing with these disease, right. but they also help spread awareness that this is not the end. Cancer won't kill you, but mm -hmm. you can even survive the most, most dangerous disease in the world. Absolutely. I mean, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be standing here and talking about it uh, with it being so personal to you. So, you know, that's a job well done, I would say. Thank you so much. Uh, my question to you is, what would you prefer in a partner? An intelligent mind or a fit body? I would, uh, you know, it would be a balance of both. Personally, I would say, because mm -hmm. uh, a person who has a good body but doesn't has a good mind mm -hmm. and is not intelligent enough, is a dumb person, you know, you cannot survive with that person. It will be so tough to be with such a person. And a person who is, has an intelligent mind but, you know, has a you know, big tummy, mm -hmm. you cannot even survive with that kind of a person. So it should be a balance of both. A person who is, you know, mentally smart as well as is fit in mm -hmm. body. So it will, you know, give me also that... Uh, motivation to work towards my body and secondly an intelligent mind would you know help me through my situation and guide me through whenever I'll be going wrong so that's what my say is that is a lovely answer so my last question to you is what's a striking quality that sets women apart from men one striking quality that sets women apart from men is um, I would say the strength that a woman holds. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when a woman bears a child, it's for nine months and the pain is immense while giving birth to a child. After that, she raises a child. Apart from this, raising a child, she takes care of her entire family. Mm -hmm. If, you know, she's working, she takes care of her workplace as well as, you know, her family. So she keeps a balance between both. And men should even learn balancing life. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to balance life, but we clearly, when we grow up, we know how to balance things out. So that's one thing that men can learn from us. That's a lovely answer and it was very strong and an insightful conversation with you. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. And good luck for your finale. Thank you so much. Take, Take care. Bye-bye.